Shout out to G-Man Boxing. All right, people. Florian Marku wins a 10-round split decision over Maxime Prodan. Now, I do a prediction league, a fantasy prediction league, and I actually picked Florian Marku to win via split decision. I think I did anyway. I'm fairly sure it was a split decision. But having said that, this wasn't a split. This shouldn't have been a split decision. Florian Marku won this fight for me. Um, Prodan had moments in there, and don't get me wrong. He did have rounds. He did have rounds. After about seven rounds... It was competitive. It was close. You know, I could easily have had a 4-3 to Marku. But for me, Florian Marku won this fight. The issue I have is with the scorecard for Prodan. Like, Marku won the fight in my opinion. Definitely. But it was competitive. If someone had maybe a 96-94 scorecard or a 95-94 scorecard for Prodan, I wouldn't really grow. I'd say, Do you know what, like, maybe you score differently, fair enough. But the 99-91, one round to Marku? What the hell was that judge watching? Seriously, what the hell? No, yeah, it would have been. I think he maybe had would have one round even. But what the hell was he watching? Um, for me, the right man won. I have to say, I was quite impressed with Florian Marco in this fight. I thought that, you know, he boxed very well. It was probably the best I've seen him boxed. He didn't switch off, which is one of the things I've had a bit of a kind of complaint about Florian Marco with against Ryland Charlton when he got dropped. He just seemed to kind of go into flight mode. And it was really when he got knocked down, it's when he kind of sparked back into life again. Now, he was jabbing a lot in this fight. He was switching from southpaw to orthodox. I have to say, Marcus' jab is quite good. It's snappy. It doesn't seem to be the most powerful jab in the world, but it's quite snappy. It's quite quick. has very good little bit of timing on it. So, he was really controlling the range. Now, early on in Florian Marcus' career, especially in his draw against Jamie Stewart, which again... I have to wonder about uh, judges with um, Marku and scoring fights because that, was, that wasn't that was a draw when he fought Jamie Stewart. He's very aggressive. He was moving his head a lot. He was really charging in on Stewart. Now, in that fight, although I felt he won, I wasn't particularly impressed with Marku. I thought he was wasting a lot of shots. His defense was very poor. In this fight, you know, he'd done quite a good job of, you know, riding with the shots, staying on the ropes. Pronan was trying to outwork Florian Marku, and he did that to an extent in certain rounds, like I say, the second round and the seventh round. But the problem I had was that it wasn't consistent enough. Marco was able to sell him some good feints. The feints that Prodan were doing, Marco could easily tell what was coming. And he was already out of range anyway, so the feints weren't really doing anything. And, you know, for the most part, he, if he had to, if he missed Florian Marco, he was having to reset every single time. So Marco would be out of range. He'd be trying to get some big shots going. He would miss. He'd have to reset straight away. The bit of success he did have was in the seventh round where he did catch Florian Marco. I think Marco kind of moved back a little bit. Hands were a bit too low down. Got caught with a left hook. Did buzz Florian Marco a little bit. His legs definitely stiffened. Marco is a fighter who can be hurt. You know, we've seen that against Royal and Charlton, who is a significantly smaller man, it has to be said. You know, he's more a 140 pounder. So Marco definitely felt that. But again, he done well. He rode the kind of little mini storm and then went back to his boxing. The shots of note were all landed by Florian Marco. That's why I can't really understand how one judge scored at 99, um, 91. It, it baffles me. Because the shots of note were all being landed by Florian Marco. Apart from that seven round, you really could say all you could see Prodan do was land a couple. Like he had success again. Don't get me wrong, landed a lot of shots on Florian Marco. You know, was was definitely you know outworking him a large part in some rounds. But for me, the quality was coming from Florian Marco in the shots. You now it really was. I liked the movement of Marco. I liked the things he was doing. I liked the way he was able to. The, the one thing that surprised me actually, pleasantly surprised me, was when I seen him out boxing, moving around the ring. I thought to myself, how long can he maintain that? He struggled with the weight yesterday. The IBF have a ten pound check weight the morning before. So if you're struggling with weight, it's not a case of you can just rehydrate. You have to be wary of that ten pound check weight. When out by without a hitch for Florian Marco, so he was able to keep that pace up. I don't know, like, I, I like Marco, I like his style, he's fun to watch, he's entertaining, uh, who would you put him in there with next? I mean, some people would mention the name uh, David Avenesian, I think that's a risky fight, a very risky fight, Conor Ben, Conor Ben be interesting, I wouldn't mind seeing that fight, Conor Ben be a kind of a, I, I write Marco, I do think that he is a bit of a, I think they, they, he needs a little bit more work, but there's a good fighter in there, there is a good fighter, in this fight, Again, like split decision. Personally, I felt it should have been unanimous. Although I'm not complaining, I got my pick right. But yeah, it definitely was. It definitely would do him the good. Send him in good stead this fight, and it'll be interesting to see who he fights next. But from my opinion, I thought Florian Marco boxed well. I thought he had a good performance. 
Prodan's a good fighter, so it's not like he was in there against, you know, a guy who was, you know, 5-2 and two, or, you know, had, you know, 5 losses and 15 wins. No, he was in there with a good live opponent who came to win, and, you know, he tried to outwork Marku. Marku's boxing was very good. I was very impressed with that, so for me, thumbs up for me. Thumbs up for me first. We'll, as I said, we'll need to see how he gets on in future fights because I do, I did, there's, there's still a few things there he does that I look at and think, hmm, going up the levels that might be an issue but cross that bridge we get to it for now it's the first fight of the night i've got plenty to talk about tonight so i'll talk to you in a wee bit peace